Welcome back to another mower video. In this one, we've got two main problems to fix. So, first of all, the mower won't start. And I've charged the battery and I tried changing out the starter motor and neither of those worked. And I did some research and it looks like uh, if the valves are perfectly adjusted, it actually decompresses it a little bit while it's turning over. And it's just super high compression now. So I'm gonna readjust the valves, see if that works. The second problem is the governor broke. So I'm going to install a throttle pedal. At first I wanted to build a throttle pedal, but then I found one that was pre-made by Speedway Motors on Amazon. Check that thing out. That's gonna be perfect. And it comes with a cable that you can shorten or cut to any length you need and a bunch of little hardware to mount it up. So I think that's gonna work pretty well. But first, I'm gonna readjust the valves on this thing and see if we can get it to start. I was kinda hoping it would've been a little bit longer between last time I was working on these valves to now, but whatever. Well guys, I've got very sad news. I should be able to watch it decompress the engine basically, and it's not doing it. I've just done some research and it's a very common issue with these engines. The little decompression flyweight grenades itself. So that means currently at the bottom of my engine case, I've got a destroyed governor and a destroyed flyweight if I want this engine to last at all, I have to address those now, and I can't just keep running it. That means the engine's coming back apart. <laughs> I can take the whole bottom comes off, and then I can get the camshaft out. A new camshaft's only like $30. And then I don't think I'm gonna fix the governor, I'm just gonna try and get it to sit kind of in place so that I can use that arm for the actual throttle still without having it to rely on the governor basically. And while I'm down there, since the engine's coming off, I can finally fix that leak that's been happening since the beginning. So I'll take that seal that I drove in back out and I'll be able to really clean that surface good and then hopefully that leak will go away. Really, this is gonna fix all the problems that I have left with the engine. Mm. <laughs> now I have to disconnect my fuel line that I broke the switch on, which is nice. Zip ties to the rescue. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There. <laughs> uh, I'm taking this freaking mower engine back apart. Check this out, so this is the governor, and this is just mangled. That is crazy. Yeah, look, that's just, that is just all busted up. <laughs> that is not good. I don't care, because I'm disabling that anyway. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I might have to put, but this is gonna lose its little washer on there so i might just get a washer to go in place of this piece either i'll get a washer or i'll just i'll probably i'll just cut this off 
and just leave just that little piece there just for the spacing of it. Then here's the camshaft. Oh yeah. So this is supposed to have that little flyweight thing on it and it straight up doesn't. There's pieces down here. There's a bunch of metal down here. Yeah, that's the, that's what's left. I'm gonna get a magnet and start pulling this out. Yeah, there it all is. All right, check this out. Here's what's left of that flyweight. And that flyweight's supposed to be up here on this camshaft. It's supposed to put this little nub out. It's just supposed to decompress the engine a little bit while it's starting. This is what's left of that governor assembly. So I pulled all of that out of just this engine case. So all I've got left to do is clean this surface up a little bit. And then I can, I have to clean this surface up as well. And I'll be able to push that seal back out and clean up that surface a little better and hopefully stop my leaking issue. And then I'll get a new gasket for this and then I'll buy a new camshaft assembly. The camshaft comes with the new flyweight so it'll fix that problem. There we go. I was cleaning the bottom of the engine here and I have some more sad news sort of so I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see that there's a crack in the bottom of the case right here this is this holds the camshaft and it's right here and that's where my oil's coming out so I've been wondering why I'm just dumping oil out of the bottom of the engine and now it all makes sense so it's kind of good news because now I know why that's happening, but also bad news because obviously I have a crack in the engine. But I do have this stuff called Aluma Weld, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just little sticks of this stuff that melts a little bit lower temperature than this aluminum. So I should be able to just basically solder that crack closed. So let's see if that works. All right, this is the stuff I was talking about. It's literally just a stick of aluminum. gobs of this aluminum stuff on the inside and out. I'm hoping it'll work. There, I actually just cleaned this one up a little bit more. I think this will work. I'm pretty hopeful about it. It's been a couple days, but we're back to work on this mower. And so I'm gonna introduce a new segment of the show called What $30 Can Buy You on Amazon for Lawnmower Parts. <laughs> Check it out. This is the old camshaft. This is the new one. The only difference is this one still has got its assembly. That one has exploded. So there's a little dimple on the camshaft that has to line up with this little dimple on the crankshaft. <laughs> the gas gets a little bit folded up. I was going to cut this off so that I could still have this as a spacer, but then I found 
a washer that's almost perfect is just a tad small. So I'm gonna make this hole a little bigger. There we go. I can still blow air through this, so that is not sealed. So I have to put more of that. Uh, I gotta heat it up again. All right, I think I got this fixed, so hopefully there's no leak in it. Drop a comment down below if you notice that I didn't put the tappets back in. I just busted up my tool, but it's in there, so. These push rods back in here. That's pretty perfect. All right, it's the next day. I got the mower all buttoned up yesterday. So I haven't even tried to start it yet. Just because. I wanted to wait. I haven't even tried to start it yet. I kind of left it overnight so I could see if it's leaking any oil it's without even. It's definitely leaking out of that, that spot. All right, I got the battery on the charger again. This battery sucks. I definitely need to upgrade it. It didn't start a second ago, but it really did sound like the battery was dead. It sounded different than what has been happening. So I'm gonna put this charger on start mode and see if it'll start. It's time to put a throttle on this thing. All right, I gotta figure out where I want this thing to sit. I think that's good right there. Come on, there we go. I don't know how well you can see this. This mechanism is just kind of strange, but it's gonna work. Now I just have to figure out, oh, now I just have to figure out how I'm gonna route this. So I had one of these crimp connectors and I yanked that actual core out of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop this cable through this little hole, loop it back around and then crimp it to itself. <laughs> All right, that just took me so long, but check out what we got going on. I have this little L bracket 
It's connected to a hole that was already in the frame that holds onto this cable here. And then the cable, like I was saying earlier, is just looped through a hole that was already there. So I didn't modify anything on this side of the tractor. Then this side just comes through one of these holes, again, already in the frame. Check it out. Now I want to see if the hood will still fit on the tractor with this cable here. Oh yeah. Let's see if it works. I can actually say that the mower is running together and has a throttle pedal. This, this is kind of crazy and <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but I, ha I know that I still have an oil leak. I know where it's leaking now, so if I really need to address that, I will. For now, I'm just gonna keep topping it off like I have been since the beginning. But what this means is that next mower video, I'm gonna be riding it, act finally riding it. So I'm so excited. It The throttle works. It's really kind of on and off the way that the the throw works on the pedal versus the throw on that arm it's just super abrupt but i think i could figure out how to kind of ride it with that and trying not to over rev this engine because it'll float the valves and destroy the stabilizer thing in it so the mower works the mower works and thank you guys so much for watching we just hit 600 subs so keep it up that is awesome and Stay tuned for next video because we're going to be romping the mower. Thanks for watching, guys.